Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff with Max Stadium coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our look at OwnCloud. And we're going to look specifically this week at how to set up OwnCloud to work with your iOS devices. Now the great thing about OwnCloud, uh, as we've talked before, is it is uh, a, Dropbox a Dropbox replacement of sorts. And the nice thing is they do have uh, an iOS application that will work with iPads and iPhones so that you can have access to all of your files to take with you, uh, but also it allows you to upload files uh, from those devices as well to your own cloud account. So it really does make it uh, a nice interchange. So if you remember before, this is the own cloud interface uh, on the web. And what I'm going to do is put this down, but I'm going to keep it here so I can show you uh, how, how things interface backward and forward. And so you can see all the documents that we have here. And uh, let me just uh, pop this down. And so you'll see here I am on my iPad. So own cloud, uh, like I said, is an application that you can get from the uh, Mac App Store. Uh, it's only 99 cents uh, to buy own cloud and download it. So it really is a good deal. Uh, it is also a universal application, which means that it will work on iPads as well as iPhones. And uh, it's optimized for both so that it'll work on all those devices natively so that when you get to the bigger devices and screens you don't have to blow it up so much uh, it, it natively will work on those now uh, it is set up to work probably best on an iPhone as you'll see things get stretched just a little bit uh, but overall uh, a really good deal for 99 cents uh, to have uh, all of your files and things that are in the cloud with you so here we are uh, on my iPad here in the interface here's own cloud so I'm going to get started with it and you can see here we are right in the own cloud uh, login screen, uh, very similar to what we saw online. So all you'd have to do here is uh, put in your server address. Uh, now when you put it in, you want to make sure that you're putting the HTTPS on there uh, because you're going to, it, it is a secure site. And the way that we set it up before, you'll know if you put an HTTP uh, by itself, then it's not going to uh, connect for you uh, because it's going to take you to the built-in uh, Mac uh, website, the wiki website that's built into a uh, server. And so you'll, you'll need to put it in uh, this way. So let me just put in my credentials here. Okay. All right. Put that in there. And then I'm going to put in my, and then you, what you do is you put in your username and your password, uh, just like you have it in OwnCloud. So the identity of the site could not be trusted. Again, that's because uh, we don't have uh, an SSL certificate that's registered. So that's going to come up every time. We're going to say, yes, we test it, uh, we trust it, and everything's fine. And you can see right below now it says that a secure connection has been established. So now we know we are connected to our own cloud server, uh, to that website. Everything's fine. Now all we have to do is log in. So you just want to put the username and password uh, of, of your user and log in. So let me do that right now. Okay, so I've got my login put in. Uh, you can see everything's set there. I'm just going to click done here so the keyboard is dismissed. And now I'm just going to click the log, uh, tap the login on the screen. And so now it's going to load and drop me right into my own cloud account. And so as you can see, I've got all of my documents on the side just like I have on own cloud. Let me just pull up the website again just to verify that. Let me just shrink this down uh, just so that we can kind of see them side by side. And as you can see, I've got uh, all of my uh, information here. Let me just refresh this uh, so that uh, it uh, is refreshed there. There we go. So now you can see I've got, uh, you know, I've got the about stacks thing. I've got that there. I've got a, a movie right here, the image 1000. You can see that all of the uh, information I have here is what I have here. And so it's really great. It, it automatically downloads that because it's connecting right to your own cloud account. So you can see that you really can take your information with you. Uh, let me just put this down so I can kind of walk you through uh, what this looks like inside. Now, it's a very simple interface. And so as you take a look at the things that you already have uploaded, uh, anything that has file formats that work on iOS devices will load. Uh, let me just show you. So I had, I had to change that uh, file format there for the video to FLV. And you can see it won't load and it won't play. That's because uh, iOS devices don't play that file format because that file format happens to be Flash. And so it's not going to play then. It's just going to be a file uh, that I can move around and share, but it won't play. However, it will play other media. So up here, I've got a .mov file. Let me just plug that in. And you can see it's starting to download that file right now onto my device. And once it's done downloading, it'll actually play uh, the file uh, inside here. So let me just, let's just wait till this downloads here. Uh, so it is, it is a full-fledged interface that allows you to view things back and forth. And you can see it plays the video right there. 
Uh, there's just a, a video capture of my son throwing a baseball. So as you can see, uh, what's great about it is it has the built-in video play. You can take it with you. You don't have to uh, use anything else. You can stay right within the app. And you can see I can pause it and scrub it and all that kind of stuff. So uh, again, the file formats that iOS devices handle, it will play. Let me just click back here. You can see I can go full screen if I wanted to, or I can pull up the menu, or I can just go back to uh, half a screen. Uh, I can also play things like audio. So if I just put the uh, audio file here, it's going to load that audio file. And I can play uh, any audio in here, music collections or whatever, and it will actually start playing. And there it is. It's playing the music. Let's scrub it along. It's starting to play. You can kind of hear it low in the background. Um, but anyways, so that, that, that shows you that we can also play audio files on here. So it is a full-fledged interface that allows you to access your, your information back and forth. But again, the file format's got to be a format that iOS devices use for it to work. Otherwise, it's just a file for you. So anyways, you can see I've got all of, that, uh, all of my files and information there. Now, if I wanted to share this particular file, I can come up here and click uh, the little uh, share icon there, and it pulls up exactly what we normally see in uh, iOS 7. I can share it by AirDrop, or I can share this audio file with all these different services that are built in. I can also just copy it to the clipboard and then try to paste it into some other service. So any service here that will take audio files, I can move it in and out of that. I can email it. Uh, it integrates with my email interface, uh, iMovie, all of those sorts of things. Uh, I can share it and uh, move it around from there. Let me just uh, put, put this down there. Uh, I can also trash it with the trash can up in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, and then you can also go full screen with it. And if I wanted to go full screen, I can do that just by clicking the little icon in the bottom right. And then I can come, uh, come back. See, I can go back and forward. I can come back. And there I am back on the side. So uh, it does have that built in where I can share that, uh, that information. Now, the other thing that I can do is I can also, uh, I can take a look at my recent uploads. And you can see I haven't uploaded anything yet. Uh, I'm going to upload something to show you how that works. And then along the bottom, I've also got a settings area with just some simple settings. I can manage my accounts uh, through the interface here where you can see there's the account that's logged in. I can take a look. Here is my information right there uh, for the login. I can actually uh, save that, change it and save it. So if my password changes, I can come in here and make the correction. Uh, or I can um, you know, add another person in here and save it as well. So let me just cancel that. And you can see I can add a new account on this side. If I just click Add New Account, it brings that back up. And I type in the information just like I would on the login screen. And then that allows me to have two accounts in here or multiple accounts, depending on uh, whether or not I'm sharing this device or if I've got different instances of own cloud running that I wanted to use. Let me just cancel that. Let's just click the back uh, button. I can also edit here, too, just so you can see. I can take accounts off just by clicking the little red arrow on the side. And uh, once I click that, it brings up a little delete area so that I can delete it if I want to. Uh, but I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to click back. Uh, I can also add a pin if I want to for security. If I just slide this to add a pin, it asks me for a pin that I want to add uh, to add security to it. So no one can get into own cloud without putting a pin in first. So it has added security in there, uh, which is a nice feature. Uh, again, there's a help area. I can recommend friends and send feedback. So a very simple settings interface. But really, again, uh, this is kind of a viewer and a way to interact with your own cloud content. So that's the settings area. Uh, now, let's just go back over here to Files for a minute, and you can see that there is a big plus button at the top, and I'm just going to click this plus button, and it allows me to upload a photo or video or to create a, fo a folder. So what I'm going to do, let's just create a folder first because I want to show you that you can work with your organization on the iOS device, and then that will translate to your own cloud instance in the cloud and across to all of your devices. So if I click Create a Folder, I can give a folder name here. So I'm going to create a folder called Media. Okay, and just add that and click Save. And so you can see now it's added that media folder there. And if I click on it, you'll see that there's nothing inside the folder. But if I want to, I just click the plus button up here at the top, and I can, uh, I can add more content to it, right? I can upload a video or a uh, folder, or I can move information around. So let me just uh, click this. So it wants to access my folder uh, uh, pictures, and I can say OK. And there I've got access to my entire uh, fo photo album. And so if I wanted to, I could come in here. Uh, let's say I want to get a picture of uh, mountains here. So I'm going to check, see it puts a little checkbox there, and I'm going to click Upload. And so now what it's done is it's uploaded that file for me, that picture. And if I just click on that photo now, 
you can see there it is. There's the photo that's pulled in from my library. And now the photo is visible right inside my media folder. So I can move files back and forth uh, between my, um, my photo album on my iOS device. I can get them up and up uh, into own cloud. And I can also uh, move things into that library as well using the share feature on the top. Let me just click back uh, here. Now, what if I want to take some of these things and move them into my media folder? Well, if I just hold, hold down uh, the file that I want to move, you can see that I can delete the file. I can open it with another program. I can rename it. So I can even do some organization naming the file. And I can move it. So I'm going to move this one. I'm going to click the Move button. And you can see I've got a folder there. I'm going to move it into the media uh, folder here. And I just click Choose on the bottom. And so now it's going to go about moving that, and you can see it disappeared. If I click the media folder, there it is inside the media folder. So you can do basic file organization right inside OwnCloud as well. And like I showed you before, if I just hold this down, I can rename uh, the file as well. So I can just uh, name it baseball, let's say, because that's what it was. It was a baseball video. And click Save. And now it's named it Baseball. And that's all, all ready to go. Let me just pop out of here. And there I am back at the beginning. So you can see this is a really, uh, a really neat and, and pretty powerful uh, for the interface uh, with OwnCloud. Uh, let me just show you again that those changes do take place on the website. If I just refresh uh, my OwnCloud instance here, it's going to reload that. And you can see that it has uh, changed just like I did the changes there. If I open the media folder, it's going to load that. And you can see there's my uh, two files in there, just like I've got, if I touch this over here, just like I've got right there. There's the baseball and the photo. So let me just put this down. So as you can see, uh, OwnCloud uh, for iOS is a great companion to uh, OwnCloud itself and allows you to take your information with you. And uh, hopefully that gives you a good idea on how you can use this. And for 99 cents, it really is a, a great deal. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac in a hosted environment.